with Years of Years, and it's This Week in Disney for June 27th to July 3rd. July 3rd? Yeah. Wow. One day a short of Independence Day. Should be a banger. <laughs> It'll be awesome. It will be. Yeah, for sure. Uh, lots, I'm sure, going on at the parks. Yeah. and um... On the quest for value <laughs> treats, of course. Shall they return? Well, also the fireworks. Yep, of course. If they're doing the 360, yeah, fireworks. I'm really excited about those. Those are so cool. Have you guys experienced those? I think they're really neat. <laughs> but moving on to this week in Disney, we're going to go to uh, June 27th first, of course, back to 1889 to someone's birth, Moroni Olsen, the voice of the Magic Mirror was born in Ogden, Utah. The yeah. voice of the magic, like, oh, Cinderella, and, and, I mean, no, Snow White. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Mirror, mirror. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, 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 yes, that is quite a voice. So I hadn't really looked into him uh, before, and he's an interesting guy. Okay. So like I said, he was born in Ogden, Utah. Not only did was he the voice of the Magic Mirror, and that's such an iconic voice, he did it for... Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, but then like there were some TV specials that we've talked about before, right. where he was mm -hmm. the magic mirror and um, the Which voice for that recall. as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so he, but he had a really big career. He okay. was, he did Broadway, but then he was in um, a bunch of different shows and films. He was actually in the Three Musketeers. That was like his breakout. Okay, like an the adaptation. Film? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, he and then he later play a different role in the 1939 comedy version of the story. Okay. So Any so further yeah. Disney roles or just the mirror? Um, just the mirror was really? all I could find, okay. but in um, It's a Wonderful Life, he was oh, okay. the senior angel, the voice of the senior angel, if you can remember that. There you go. It's a Wonderful Life. We've all seen that, right? Every year. <laughs> yeah. At least once. So, um, you know, the, the one angel that comes down and works... Um, Mm -hmm. You know, yes, with, not uh, this gentleman, right? This is the senior angel that's kind of like you got Clarence. Get what are you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right. So, um, anyway, that's his voice, really, really cool. But he had a huge, he was even like he was in Alfred Hitchcock, um, a little bit. He was in a ton of stuff. Any Twilight Zone? That would be interesting <laughs> to find out. That would tie him into our. I mean, I was looking at his filmography. It kind of goes so on expensive. and on. <laughs> you yeah. could check him out online. But back when he went to school, mm -hmm. um, he like founded a a group in school. Like okay. they did the they were players. Do you remember? Sure. So they were the very, very the at the uh, school the school the mm -hmm. universe Weber yes. State no troop. the University troop. of Utah. It was the he called them the Moroni players okay. after and that's his name so uh -huh. <laughs> that was really cool um so he had a huge theater schooling um and in, in university before he started his career so okay. that would add to why um he was so well he known was, yeah, and very well known export. yeah okay. <laughs> yeah really nice. really cool yeah oh, or magic Moron mirror Moroni Olsen players yeah there you go yeah but I love his voice mm -hmm. I think it it makes the film what it is. Like, mm -hmm. if you took the magic mirror out, it just wouldn't be the same. Yes. You know? Well, it, so. and it's also like, you know, the slight disgust of the magic mirror at yeah. the request of the mm -hmm. queen. Right. It's a balance of power and of consciousness. Very nice. Yeah, yeah he definitely adds that. Almost like... Jiminy Cricket, a little bit, if you would think there about it, go. that only for yeah. <laughs> the, it's like he's kind of nudging, voices, like, like maybe without you're going to form too far. and little form that <laughs> get in our heart. Yeah. Well said. It's an interesting, interesting concept, but, mm -hmm. <laughs> but moving on to, it's actually the same day. There's a lot happening on June 27th, um, Rejoice. 1952, Disney's goofy short teachers are people. Um, yeah, go really? check no, out <laughs> this one or did I say it? Yeah. He, I thought this was really interesting. We don't need no <laughs> 
Because <laughs> he's like <laughs> trying to be a teacher and it's not going well. So, and so this was a time when they had the animated children in the short are just interesting. The color concept, the art style, but Goofy being a teacher, just imagine how the kids are treating him. He's, I think it's like a, how they treat a substitute teacher more there than you go. a beloved teacher. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's a little rough. <laughs> Non-tenured. But, <laughs> but you gotta check this one out. It's really funny. Um, the It was narrated by Alan Reed, who's gonna be the future voice of Fred Flintstone. So check out this okay. one. That's why I brought it up, because who didn't watch the Flintstones? Well, yeah. Yeah, but Miles, I do. <laughs> Miles and I were just talking about because he was like, "Wouldn't it be crazy?" Because he was watching it, someone riding a bike, and then he was like, "Wouldn't it be crazy if like we had to <laughs> move our cars with our feet?" And then I was like, "Not so crazy." <laughs> <laughs> Fun stones. <laughs> For sure. All right, moving on to 1997. Um, this is, I love this film. This is really cool. And it came okay. out on this day. Mm -hmm. Hercules was yes. released. <laughs> oh my goodness. Honestly, a lot more Hercules in the park is always my wish. Um, yeah. I love this film. Yeah. I love the muses. The muses like <laughs> rock it out from the beginning, gospel it out. I just, I love it. I, you know, and you know, I think the muses, when I think about it sometimes, I think it really benefits from like, popularity of Whoopi Goldberg and Sister Act. I think that really helped them to bring that in. Even though it's not that, it has like the diva quality of yeah. like gospel like greats, but yeah. oh, just awesome. Okay, so this movie is cool. Of course they, you know, went and looked at Greek mythology, but not only that, uh, they went and took their trips and went to Greece mm -hmm. and those areas and, you know, that's what they do for mm -hmm. these films. That's what I love is that they actually go to the countries mm -hmm. and get artistic inspiration. So they definitely did that. And I think it paid off yeah. for the film, like artistically speaking. Mm -hmm. Like you definitely feel that sure. um, in the film that they took that time mm -hmm. and um, sketched out things and really um, gave, yeah. you know, mythological inspiration <laughs> it was mythical. for sure no the thing i love about it like too speaking of the art <clears throat> speaking because it's so different than any yeah. other disney film yeah. and i love it it's really based on circles it looks inspired by like puffiness and clouds i think they got that from you know just the mount olympus and the fact that like <laughs> the the Pegasus was born of the clouds and just all these like roundness and puffiness and and circles even like and you got Danny DeVito in it with his well like, that's what we're gonna talk please. about the cast because I think the cast does make this film particularly interesting and they actually try to get um, different stars um, okay. for the film and so they ended up so you have Tate Donovan as Hercules and his voice is like Hercules, like you just can't see it. And, and his voice, he, he does. Good. A lot of these people yeah. actually voice for Kingdom Hearts and all the other things. So, mm -hmm. um, but Danny DeVito, getting Danny DeVito, a lot of people um, had tried out for the role. Other actors just were like, why don't you get Danny DeVito? Like <laughs> Danny DeVito is what would make this role right. And he does. Yes. Like you can't it's even perfect. imagine this film without Danny DeVito. Yeah. And this <laughs> was before it. Sunny in Philadelphia. I mean, oh, I yeah. we grew up with him on Taxi, just loving him. <laughs> awesome. Right. But he was in a pseudo like a little well, I mean, is this post Matilda? I don't know. Yeah. You know, but I mean, he this is all like wrapped up in America's <laughs> yeah. rekindling of the relationship with Danny. Right, but this role I think was so so important, and this was the role that went through the most people, including Jack Nicholson. Am I saying it right? Uh, yeah, Jack? you did say it yeah. right. You um, did. <laughs> so That's he surprising. Was, so it's the voice of hey, Hades, kid. right? Oh, Jack Nicholson is the voice of Hades. No, he's not. Oh, um, he did. He w they wanted him for to be, Dan DeVito's part. And what I read was there was a financial issue oh, okay. there. Like he wanted way more than maybe they wanted to mm. pay for a voice acting thing. Ah, yeah. None of my business. I mean, but he used James know. Wood. Right. They there, used yeah. James Wood. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's who they used for yeah, Hades. Yeah. And 
fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like he does Hades so well. He voices Hades um, for Can't all Can't imagine the... it without it. Right. Um, so just like thinking about what the film would be like with Jack no. Nicholson. I no. don't know. I'm sorry. Like, I love Jack Nicholson, but no. That could have happened. Yeah. And so James it's just Woods, really way better. cool that we have. Well, just for the part. Yeah. So then the last one I want to talk about was Susan Egan because she was the voice of Belle, like the first voice of Belle, or not not voice like actress for Belle on Broadway. Okay. And so what's interesting about that is that, or the musical adaptation, mm -hmm. she that was her voice. Mm -hmm. So, um... Yeah, I love Meg. Meg is, like, in her song as well, like, she's... Honestly, to me, she's a Disney princess. A Disney goddess because she's married to a god. Yeah, well, so they basically couldn't see her in this sassy, <laughs> like, role because she had been Belle. So okay. it just didn't, like, make sense to yeah. them until well, she tried out. She was girl, like, huh? she was like, let me try out for Listen. this. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, and they were like, oh, okay, we okay. see now. <laughs> we understand. And she's amazing. The I best. really can't imagine anybody else's Meg, too. Like, these characters really came out. The art came out, of course. Ellen Minkin with the music How and everything. How can you say Ariel's not sassy, too? I mean, that's, yeah. she's so... Ariel. Yeah, didn't know you said no, she was... Belle. Belle. Belle's, Fair enough. Belle's not really sassy. You know, there is a sass to independence, though. And she's like up against the whole but village. But in her voice, in her singing, <laughs> I wouldn't say that came across in Belle at all. She's right, right, sweet. Right, right, right. You know, Meg has this character that you really hadn't seen in mm -hmm. a Disney type princess character sure. before. Oh, and so she still have not. does well, fantastic. Maybe Rapunzel, but. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I mean, Mirda. She's considered a different Mirda's person. a different she's, kind of she's strength. She's got some sass. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, indeed. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, so I just, I think the casting, I think everything really came together for this film. I think it was phenomenal and we yeah. love it. Yeah, for sure. Move. Moving on to uh, June 28th, 1957. Date night at Disneyland in 1957. This is really go. interesting. It premieres on this evening. The Anaheim Park extends its operating hours to 1 a.m. Yeah, so they were trying to um, encourage uh, people to stay later at the parks at the time because it was more of a daytime experience for everybody and so uh, I thought this was neat that they yeah, were man. doing this like Friday and Saturday night date night hey guys Disney can be fun at night <laughs> I, can that, even I think yeah. it's lasted yeah. <laughs> since for a long time yeah Did, I can even Disney remember in the late 90s mm -hmm. early 2000s them having to send out the request and you know reminder to adults that mm -hmm. You know, there's an, that Disney's an evening affair. Okay, so the popularity of the evening events will actually turn into a 1958 LP recording, Day Night at Disneyland, featuring Elliot Brothers Orchestra. There you go. Isn't that cute? I just think it's so, so yeah. awesome. Yeah, would have yeah. been fun. Yeah, yeah a lot of uh, living rooms and lounges mm -hmm. and getting out their phonographs. I love the way people dressed too back then. Indeed. Yeah, for these um, And we still have dapper celebrations. Sure, but every, most of the time. Every season. Yeah. <laughs> it's more casual, for sure. And then moving on to June 30th, 2017, this really cool documentary I want you guys to check out, Ghost of the Mountains. So this is about the snow leopards in China. China cat sunflowers. Yeah, by Disney Nature. And so... Um, I think this is a beautiful documentary, but what's really cool, I love seeing the snow leopards and the animals and the photography of that, but I really like the people involved yes. in this documentary mm -hmm. and um, everything that they do to get shots. And that they it's, share. And it feels and like... They, they describe how. Well, they're constantly like wanting snow mm. <laughs> and like... So they get tracks. Yeah, well they need the tracks in mm -hmm. order to get the good shots of the snow leopards. And so it's just really important and vital for what they're doing and how they're filming. And it's not like posh by any means. It's a very <laughs> um, 
you know, simple lifestyle that the, the camera crew are living and the people who are working with them, yeah. you know, and so it's Tent, really, really propane. nice just as much as seeing the lep the snow leopards and what they're living to see these people and how they live and what they're going through in Indeed. this adventure. So it's a cool documentary, not documentary. <laughs> I got that out. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Go check that one out for sure. And it is on Disney Plus. So there you go. Then moving on to July 1st. Um, <laughs> the Apple Dumpling Gang. <laughs> My boys. Yes, this is a really fun, mm -hmm. fun film. If you don't know, their picture hangs in the <laughs> queue of Big Thunder Mountain. That's right. Yeah. yeah. See, so now you have to watch it because. <laughs> and rides again. Too. There's two. Yep. It was very it's popular amazing. and successful. Yeah, this is a fun one that we recently watched with Miles, of course. and he enjoyed it too. But yes. Don um, Knotts, mm -hmm. a beloved favorite, not just for yeah. Three's Company, but <laughs> just, no, yeah. but for the fact that he was a childhood friend of my grandfather. But it's got like all the Western feels to it, but oh, yeah. then it definitely has like the Disney twist and. I mean, it's called Apple Dumpling Gang, so Delicious. it's definitely for kids and family, and it's funny, so yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. really good. It's a good one. And then moving on to 2003, I thought this was just an interesting thing. Uh, the Florida Indoor Clean Air Act um, takes effect, so and no more indoor smoking. No more. Um, but 2000. Three? Like, that was three. kind of weird to, yeah. to see that. Is that right? Yeah. Like, did I read that right? There was still smoking. <laughs> I mean, that's, hey, seriously, though, that's 20, that's not even 20 years ago. I know. It's just yeah. amazing the, like, breakneck, right. like, <clears throat> movement of society. Yeah. Well, and it was to encourage non-smoking, and I'm so grateful that like our kids yeah. haven't grown up in the circumstances that we grew up in, mm -hmm. with planes you, and restaurants and everything. It was, it was everywhere. Just everywhere. It was everywhere. And so I'm surprised that we all didn't actually get affected from <laughs> secondhand smoke Some because we, we were all around it yeah. <laughs> constantly. So anyway, it's great that they were able to change society in this way, as far mm -hmm. as healthier yeah. and safer. And it is it is important mm -hmm. to realize that it also has to do with individuals with respiratory issues, including mm -hmm. as common yeah. as asthma. Well, any kind of health issues, mm -hmm. like it's just really intense. Yeah. And so that's a choice, but yeah. it was this affecting all of us. Only 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And then also 2003, the same year, same day, at Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom, Goofy's new country dance party premieres at the Diamond Horseshoe. Yes. And I've actually been to this during uh, a Halloween party, well, I believe. Well, that's a different dance party. Okay. But you have been, you know, involved. That was Dancing like in the Woody. Diamond Horseshoe. You're thinking about Woody and okay. Jesse. Yeah. So true. Yeah, but still, this is cool. Yeah. And yeah. something I like that they still were doing something revolving around dance at the Diamond Horseshoe because it's just always thinking mm -hmm. about the shows and everything that they did with the original, yeah. of course. So, I don't know if you guys got to check out this one, but tell us in the comments. We'd love to hear if you yeah. got to see the uh, Goofy's new country yeah. dance. Now, is it yeah. is it rare to be in the Diamond Horseshoe? Do they just use it for overflow of they, the that's Liberty That's what they're Square? doing since since the yeah. um, every the, all right. the Closings the openings. I guess is what I'm trying to yeah. say. The reopenings. Um, yeah, it just yeah. seems. I haven't heard anything different, but that's just like it's a beautiful it. place in there. So we did get to enjoy yeah. it. Um, was it two years it was ago? Over the Fourth yeah. of July. No, no, we did it for Thanksgiving. Is that what it was? Yeah. My goodness. Yeah, Thanksgiving there. Wow. <laughs> it was really fun. But anyway, yeah. something interesting. We didn't... Nice piano in there, and they yeah. blow it up. So I'm sure yeah. they did then, too. Yeah. And then moving on to July 3rd, 1942. So the cartoon I mentioned before was 1952. These are only 10 years apart, so okay. definitely check them out and kind of think about animation art style changes. This is but the, you're talking about is, the Goofy Teacher one and now this one? Yeah, the Goofy okay. Teacher and now this is a Pluto one called the Sleepwalker. Okay. Which is oh, really Pluto interesting. Yeah, because okay. the new cartoons you were saying. Yes, the know, Goofy has a sleepwalking episode. Yeah. Okay. The, the, this was a Pluto sleepwalking. Okay. I mean, we're talking about 
how many years oh, of yeah. animation. I think some themes are going to get repeated. Oh, yeah. No, it's a good <laughs> sure. one. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm glad they're making Mickey Mouse cartoons now. Though. Oh, yeah. For and continue. Yeah, definitely. But this was just really interesting. So go check it out mm -hmm. and you can compare the new one, <laughs> the old one, and all well, the Well, two animation. different characters, but yes, <laughs> all the tropes. Yeah, I'm tell sure. us what you think. And then moving on, same day, July 3rd, uh, 2009, an, a special early morning ceremony, more than a thousand immigrants, uh, including 25 of them were cast members at the time, are sworn in as U.S. citizens at Disney World's Magic Kingdom. Awesome. So this naturalization ceremony features a uh, keystone speaker, Andy Garcia, and there we go. then they had re oh they had the spirit of the fife and drum play. Which okay. is really cool. And then they had the revamped Hall of Presidents open up. Okay, well. what year? All together. Two thousand nine. Okay, so yeah. this was okay. So this was all like this was Obama. This was yeah. enthusiasm of Obama so but much. And we were we lived in Chicago at the time. Cast members. We had a great deal of enthusiasm. A thousand immigrants. So oh yes, that's I mean, really neat. <laughs> in, yeah, that is incredible. Yeah. A thousand. Mm -hmm. I'm. Thank you for drawing out that number. Yeah, indeed. I thought it was a big number. Yeah. And a big event. I don't know if they like it. Didn't specify if they did it wow. before the park opened or if you yeah. know everyone could enjoy this. Two thousand nine. So Disney really yeah. is still capable of pulling off a patriotic party and enjoying <laughs> yeah patriotic. like celebrating so, the country we'll see what happens on the fourth this year yeah so this was the day before i am July yeah. of course yeah <laughs> yeah 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 totally. so that was interesting i thought it was cool and hopefully on july 4th we'll be sharing lots more <laughs> about july 4th and how disney celebrates that holiday mm -hmm. but that is it for this week in disney and we love you guys following along and watching the show and we always hope you'll leave a comment and share ideas and what you think about the things we talked about okay. yeah definitely down below and that's it so we will see you guys next time